Much of the world came to learn of Rwanda in 1994, during the famous genocide when the majority Hutu people went on a three-month killing spree against a minority Tutsi. Before we continue, the Rwandan society sees this topic as taboo, and the government aims to unify the people, hence it is banned talking about ethnicity, but everyone knows who is who. Questions have been asked. Lots of them. Whether the Tutsi people of Rwanda and Burundi are descendants of Ethiopians. Well, let's check out a little history. According to many scholars, Hutus first settled in the Great Lakes region of Central Africa between 500 and 1000 BC. Generally speaking, Hutus were an agricultural people who lived in large family groups. The Tutsi, who are descendants of a herding people, arrived from the north in the 15th and 16th centuries and established traditional political domination based on monarchy in the area. Some scholars have drawn connections between the Tutsi and the Maasai, a nomadic tribe in Kenya and Tanzania, the Oromo of Ethiopia, and even the ancient Egyptians. In general, the Tutsi appear to share a close genetic kinship with neighboring Bantu populations. However, it is unclear whether this similarity is primarily due to extensive genetic exchanges between these communities through intermarriage or whether it ultimately stems from common origins. The Tutsis are often characterized with the physical features of a longer thin nose, high cheekbones, and being over six feet tall, all of which are common descriptions associated with the Nalotes and Kushites. More recent studies have de-emphasized physical appearance, such as height and nose width, in favor of examining blood factors, the presence of the sickle cell trait, lactose intolerance in adults, and other genotype expressions. A study concluded that, while the sickle cell trait among the Rwandan Hutu was comparable to that of neighboring people, it was almost non-existent among Rwandan Tutsi, suggesting different origins. Regional studies of the ability to digest lactose are also supportive. The ability to digest lactose among African adults is widespread only among desert-dwelling nomadic groups that have depended upon milk for millennia. Three-quarters of the adult Tutsi have a high ability to digest lactose, while only 5% of the adults of the neighboring Shi people of eastern Congo can. Modern-day genetic studies of the Y chromosome generally indicate that the Tutsi, like the Hutu, are largely of Bantu extraction while paternal genetic influences associated with the Horn of Africa and North Africa are few with just under 3% and are ascribed to much earlier inhabitants who were assimilated. In general, the Tutsi appear to share a close genetic kinship with neighboring Bantu populations, particularly the Hutus, and the admixture indicates the Tutsis have a strong resemblance to the results for the Maasai. Afro-Asiatic ancestry for the Tutsi, as is claimed by some, is in turn ruled out because results consistently show much closer serological relation to Bantu and Nilotic populations than to the Semitic or Cushitic samples from the Horn of Africa. What does this mean? The Tutsi were more likely once a Nilotic-speaking population who switched to the language of the Bantus, amongst whom they settled and intermarried. If you liked our video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.